Hey y'all, uh, Chris from Key Farm. Hey, one thing before we get started on this video. I got a couple people that comment where they're watching from. Detroit, Michigan, Central California. I love y'all's comment. Anyway, if you're so inclined, go ahead and comment and tell me where you're watching this video from. All right, now, so about three weeks ago, I took the truck. If you're not familiar, we put a uh, Predator 212 and a 91 Mazda B2200. And right now it's running 22 miles an hour with the Predator 212 and a 48 tooth sprocket on the input shaft. So I took it to the farm and I did a series of speed tests, about 600 feet. I didn't measure it perfectly, but about 600 feet. And, you know, I, I averaged them and we came up with an average for the uh, Predator 212. And then I brought it home and I put the 224 on it. That's when I shot the how-to video. But by, by the way, that was a 20 minute video that's actually doing pretty well. I appreciate y'all watching that one. So then I got it back together and took it back to the farm and I did the exact same course, the exact same footage, and I timed it out the exact same way just to give us a kind of an outline. If the bigger, better 224 was bigger, it's, it's more powerful, let me put it that way. Size-wise, it's the exact same. Everything hooks up the same. So, um, it actually did a little bit better. Check this out. Hey y'all, in this short clip right here, I'm explaining about going to the farm and doing speed tests, but the wind is blowing so hard, I knew the video wasn't going to be any good, so here's your voiceover. This is me telling you that I'm about to head to the farm and do a speed test. Hey y'all, just as a side note, I just made four passes. And the clutch is not so hot I can't keep my hand on it. That's pretty sweet right there. y'all there you have it now i did shoot the video a little bit different in the 212 i shot the back half of the range i was running with the 224 i shot the front half so you could hear me shifting through the gears but overall it was timed all the same so check this out after you do all the math and you average all the passes the 224 did perform better by 2.2 seconds per pass now y'all think about that that's in a truck, and both motors did govern out in every gear. The 224 would get to the end of the gear sooner. It would govern out faster. So y'all, 2.2 seconds per pass in a truck, I think that translates to a, probably a pretty big difference on something like a mini bike. So now look, I'm happy with Predator 212s. I really am, because most... I build my stuff to perform. You know, I got stuff that goes slow. I'm not all about speed, but I'm telling you what, the 224 actually did pretty well. And driving the truck, you can feel a little bit of difference because it does get to the end of the gear sooner. And since I have a little more power, you know me, when I get over at the farm, I get to messing around and I always get into something I don't plan on doing. And today I was trying to drag a tree around. So here's a little piece of that on the way out, and uh, I'll probably make my own video about it. Hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. Love God, love people, and watch some of these other videos. 